This is the Usher Gallery at Lincoln and at the bottom of the stairs there's a sculpture by Oliver Larrick called The Hunter and His Dog Relief. There is a sculpture upstairs made out of marble. It's also the hunter and the dog, but it's not relief and it's a lot bigger. It's, it's quite different, it's quite striking and I've not seen something quite like it before. And just because it's got lots of bright colours and it's, it's quite unique, I think I'll say. I like the way that it's got loads of different uh, type colours of paint because it brings more attention to it and it gives you more it gives makes you more curious as why it was made and why it was painted. I've had a read of the label and it turns out it was scanned but it was handcrafted so the element of technology and the, his creative input as well. Um, I think I assumed that it was made in the 1800s just because of uh, when the uh, sculpture upstairs was made. I'm pretty surprised because I, I never really thought about like pieces of art inspired by even older pieces of art to be made using technology. I didn't expect it to be scanned or 3D printed. You can download the scanned image on the website as well, I didn't expect that. So we put together a project and applied to the Contemporary Art Society Annual Award to do a project with Oliver Larrick where we used 3D scanning to actually collect information about our sculptures. As part of the award there was one commission from Oliver Larrick who was the partner artist that we worked with and that was Hunter and his dog. Why the colour choice? Uh, the colour choice is probably part of the method of manufacture which is obviously taking it from 3D scanning. So it is, um, I think, a polyurethane base, but the artist has then chosen the pigments and the methods of colouring to go on this. Do you think it's right that Oliver Larrick copied John Gibson? Yes, and I think when you go back in time, people always go back and look at other people's work and maybe take inspiration or take something from work. So at every level, I think there's a form of copying going on. This is just translating it in a new technological fashion that has, has only really, um, is only just really now finding its feet. I'm so amazed how someone could turn something so old into something so modern and so, so much different, but so, so much also the same and I find that really amazing and interesting. I do like the interpretation of it from the old sculptures. Yes, as you say, something so different. Yeah. It's, completely, it's a completely new sort of art and he's taken his own interpretation of it and made it, made it his own. Did you like it? I yeah. liked it. Yeah, I, I, liked I liked it, it as well. a lot because of just how unique it was because I've never really seen anything like it. Old art can influence new art and that new art can be like amazing like the old art and it, it's, oh, it's, yeah, yeah.